Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions about kind of my approach, what kind of medications I use and how I go about these dental procedures. So I'm kind of just showing you here how I start, um, showing you my setup. I have the propofol pump, my monitor. I'm showing you how I kind of, I like to keep everything organized there. You see my wires, keep everything clean off the ground. She's strapped in, this patient did really well. Um, we're localizing the mouth here. So we're putting an local anesthesia with some epinephrine and you can tell the patient is not reacting to anything. That's my oxygen source there. She has a nasal cannula with a CO2 port. And there is my monitor. So this video is gonna show you progression, kind of just the monitor and how the case is going. So this is a couple minutes after we injected uh, the local anesthesia. That's probably epinephrine, um, giving her heart rate where it's at 108 and then blood pressure 150 systolic. So we're kind of working away there. She's not feeling a thing, but if I didn't know better, I would think she's feeling something because of the blood pressure and the heart rate, but I'm giving that a few minutes to kind of settle down because she did get some epinephrine absorption. There's my propofol pump running, and as you can tell here, my CO2 has kind of gone away for a second because we're kind of manipulating the head. She, um, she has moments of apnea, which she can tolerate. Um, while we extract, we kind of have to push down, and sometimes they obstruct, but I'll show it to you again, and there she goes. She's starting to breathe. Heart rate is still 112. I give it maybe seven, five to seven minutes before I start to, you know, maybe do something about it. Little bonus for you there, pulling out a tooth. Coming down to 107, like I said, it's just a couple minutes later. This is all within a five to seven minute time frame. Got my propofol pump going. Now that's what I like. Heart rate came down, blood pressure came down. I have my propofol there going at 75 uh, mics per kick per minute. Patient is still just hanging out, just cruising. Um, we're doing some bone reduction there, so we're using a lot of water, making sure the patient doesn't gag. Look at that, got the, got the heart rate down to 87. Blood pressure uh, looking really nice there. She's breathing very nicely there. I've worked in some Presidex. Um, I gave her a little fentanyl, um, gave her some Versed obviously to start, some fentanyl, propofol, and I worked in some Presidex on her, and look at how Presidex works, works magic sometimes. You do gotta be careful though, because um, it can sneak up on you and really bring that blood pressure down. So I don't want her blood pressure to drop too far, but right there I was very comfortable with it. Uh, we're done with bone reduction. Now we're gonna start implants here. So I have the propofol pump essentially going the whole case. You can see her CO2, she's breathing nicely there for me, 13 times a minute. If you notice the pressure, just how I spoke, 85 over 50, that's about as low as it got, and that's about as low as I wanted it to get. She had no heart problems, but I don't want it lower than that. Um, so we're kind of, and we're winding down here to the end. Vital signs look amazing. Patient did awesome, woke up just fine. Case went really well, another one in the books. Um, can't complain, really, really good case, Good, good patient.